let's work with the law of sines and cosines. For example, let triangle ABC be an oblique triangle with little b equal to 37, little a equal to 54, and capital B equal to 30 degrees. Let's solve the triangle. That is, we're going to find all the missing sides and angles. So let's mark on our figure here the given information. We have that B is equal to 37, A is equal to 54, and capital B is 30 degrees. Now this is what we call the SSA case, which stands for side, side, angle. because we're given two sides and an angle that's not included between them. Now, since we're given a matching angle and side pair, namely capital B and little b, we can apply the law of sines. And since we're given little a, we can use the law of sines to find capital A, namely sine of a divided by a is equal to sine of b divided by little b or sine of a is equal to a times sine of b divided by b, which is equal to 54 times the sine of 30 degrees divided by 37. And the sine of 30 degrees is 1 half, so this is 54 times 1 half divided by 37 which is equal to 27 divided by 37, which is approximately 0 0.7297. Now, since A is an angle in a triangle, its degree measure must be between 0 and 180 degrees. And therefore, there's two possibilities for A. Let's call them A1 and A2. A1 is inverse sine of this 27 divided by 37, which is approximately 46.8612 degrees. And there's also A2, which is 180 degrees minus A1. which is approximately 133.1388 degrees. Now the question is, do they both work? Well, they'll both work as long as when we add B to these measures, we're still under 180 degrees. So let's compute A1 plus B, which is approximately this 46.8612 plus 30 degrees, which is 76.8612, which is less than 180 degrees. So yes, A1 will work. What about A2? A2 plus B is approximately this 133.1388 degrees plus 30 degrees which is equal to 163.1388, which is also less than 180 degrees, which means A2 will also work, which means there's two solutions. We can form two triangles with this given information. Now, had this turned out to be greater than 180 degrees, then there would only be one solution. And also, sometimes in these cases, we get no solution. Coming back over here on the left, if this would have turned out to be greater than 1, for example, then there would be no solution because there is no angle A whose sine is larger than 1. But in this case, we will have two solutions. The first solution is when A is equal to A1. 
for this 46.8612 degrees. So if we know A and we know B, then we can find C because the angle measures in a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. That is, C is equal to 180 degrees minus A plus B, which is approximately equal to 180 degrees minus 46.8612 degrees plus 30 degrees, which is equal to 103.1388 degrees. And now that we know capital C, we can find little c by using the law of sines again. That is C divided by sine of capital C is equal to B divided by sine of capital B, or C is equal to B times sine of C divided by sine of B, which is approximately 37 times sine of 103.1388 degrees divided by the sine of 30 degrees, which using our calculator, we get that this is approximately 72.0629. All right, and what about our second solution? When A is equal to A2, for this 133.1388 degrees. Again, we can find C by using the fact that the angles in the triangle add up to 180 degrees. That is, C is equal to 180 degrees minus A plus B, which is approximately 180 degrees minus 133.1388 degrees plus 30 degrees, which is equal to 16.8612 degrees. And again, we can use the law of sines to find little c. That is, c is equal to b times sine of capital C divided by sine of capital B, which is approximately 37 times sine of 16.8612 degrees divided by sine of 30 degrees, which is approximately 21.4641. So let's round our answers to the nearest tenth and write them up here. So there's two solutions. The first solution, in addition to this information here given in the problem, is that capital A is equal to 46.9 degrees, capital C is equal to 103.1 degrees, and little c is equal to 72.1. And the second solution is that A is equal to 133.1 degrees, Capital C is equal to 16.9 degrees, and little c is equal to 21.5. And this is an example of how we can solve triangles in the SSA case. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.